Hi, my name is Neve Ern Cusack. I am an Irish visual artist based in Berlin, Germany, and my work is mainly focusing on astronomical theories, aeroscience, and astrophysics. And yeah, I've been focusing quite a lot on the night sky since around 2017. I went and I did an Erasmus in the Bauhaus in Weimar in Germany and it was something about the extremely clear sky at night in like Central Europe it was something I wasn't so used to growing up. In Ireland it's always pretty cloudy and I just got really sucked in and when I was a kid my favorite program was Brother Bear like the movie from Disney and I remember being so fascinated by the northern lights from this film so when it came to kind of me coming up with a concept of my art practice I remember thinking to myself, okay, you know, something I'm super comfortable with is the like constellations and astronomy. So I decided to keep working with that. And I did a series of paintings based on the Northern Lights and have been progressing slowly since then. And for me, like physics was such a important subject in high school. I didn't get the best grades in high school to study physics. So I found a really nice way through art, like a backdoor into continuing to study astrophysics and science. And yeah, I think I've got a really good happy medium and through abstract painting as well. I feel like I'm able to like relax with myself and to feel very connected with my marks and with my materials. Um, so yeah, during the pandemic, ooh, okay. Um, it was pretty chaotic the first few months. I went from actually working in a very kind of chaotic environment, full-time job and uh, night shifts. And then coronavirus happened and it was really bizarre because I was feeling quite down in the dumps and I didn't want to make art then. I was like, oh no, you know, we'll get out of this in a few weeks. It's fine. I'm going to just sleep. I'm just going to chill. And then it like prolonged and prolonged and prolonged. And I was still in this mindset that it wasn't going to like stay around. <laughs> and I don't know. I was really adamant that like, you know, I'm just going to have some me time up here. And then I started to get back into my art practice. And it wasn't actually actually until November 2020 that I really like submerged myself back into kind of what I had been doing before when I was a kid and in all my free time I loved to paint and draw and when I started in November just really getting back into my practice there was something then that kind of clicked and it made sense and a lot of my work ended up it changed itself quite a lot I started working more outdoors like bringing fine art into a public view I got really fascinated with street art because the streets were so empty during the daytime that whenever I went for a walk around and I was able to see a lot of graffiti artists kind of just continuing to do their thing and like spray the walls and whatnot, I ended up getting so into this culture of like appreciating street art and graffiti so much. So I started then, I guess my paintings adapting to that also with more of colors, more lines, forms, shapes, and it really just grew from there. Um, so about the residency, yeah, so I came into this residency um, since it's online and I am very much so like not an IT person. I'm really bad with anything to do with technology on the computer. Um, so when I was like online residency, I was a bit nervous at first, but I love it. I think it's great. It's actually for me such a nice way to connect with artists from all over the world and like from my own you know studio space I don't I can still be in my four walls um, I'm in like 
somewhat my own safe space. I would like to do some traveling soon. And I actually would really like to get over to Belgrade and see the city itself because I know that there is like a lot of really nice buildings and architecture there. Um, but yeah, doing like an online residency for me really was just like, and right now is just like the start of definitely of kind of getting myself in with this Zoom and connecting online. And yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. And also like, I find that with speaking weekly with other artists too, from being quite self-isolated for a long time, it's quite enjoyable to get different perspectives from like-minded people on different projects that people are up to. And I think the team like Artists in Standby really was, how I felt at the very beginning of the pandemic. And then I felt like I was slowly coming out of standby. But for that reason, for my time now with the Belgrade Art Online Studio, I really want to start looking at derelict buildings that have been on standby for a really long time. And because I've been working so much recently in the past few months with bringing my art into the streets. I really like this idea of just going out with a pen and paper, like a sketchbook and just drawing these buildings. And I hope for my project to actually get my drawings and to pin them, even if it's just for like, a second uh, to get a nice shot or you know if there's somebody around or something to get like a little bit of kind of like an interaction or whatever I'm not thinking so much about kind of like the the overall end result but at the same time I want to install the drawings that I make of these buildings in the buildings themselves um it's going to be kind of a lot of just trial and error of finding different locations that um, will suit because I've been traveling the last week, well, the last two weeks, but intensively the last week around the city. And it's really hard to get into a lot of these buildings because they have been by the council completely closed off. And there's like police that are kind of monitoring and whatnot. So. I also don't want to have to do something illegal. So I joined a group uh, two days ago called Abandoned Berlin. So interesting. There are all these open sites that are really easy to get into. And uh, tomorrow I'm going over to a Schwimmhalle, a swimming pool in Pankow. And I want to just take some nice shots and get some drawings done. And then I want to keep revisiting the space throughout this week and just see different angles and install the work, photograph it, and then just kind of put together a little portfolio of my photographs and my drawings at the end for the project, um, for the online studio. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually very, excited to kind of see how I get along throughout the next week. Um, I feel like also it coming into the last week, I'm really motivated now <laughs> to just like push through. And yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. The weather's good. So I'm, you know, in a really good place right now. And I think getting to see these buildings also, um, especially the shrimp palette tomorrow, I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, just recording, observing, documenting. And yeah, that's my buzz. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening and <laughs> bye. <laughs>